Hello guys, today we are going to repair this uh, infrared electric cooker that has a problem with the E3 error on the display. Okay, before we uh, testing all this component we need to test this middle sensor sometimes it's a uh, cover with corrosion here you need to clean this you can watch my other video about this uh, thermal sensor heat sensor is going to here I want to make sure it is still good I'm gonna test with my multimeter with the resistant tester oh we can test these two pin it is showing 3.5 uh, ohm it is still good and make sure you have connection from here to here to this 2 pin with uh, continuity test this is the symbol diode and continuity test so when there are connection it will be beeping also the other pin we have connection okay the sensor is still good then we need to test each of this uh, component in this area usually in this area usually there's one resistors uh, broken or burn or open lines or uh, damage capacitors we're gonna check one by one with my multimeter okay let's get started so I already opened the unit and this is the power supply and control heat board. Uh, I want to check uh, is there any failed components. I already checked some components, especially uh, resistors with uh, this color bands and capacitors. This uh, cylinder tube is the capacitors. Uh, usually I'm testing the resistor with one of the legs pull up as you can see I already uh, pull up one of the legs to make sure that the reading will be accurate because sometimes it will arrange in series or parallel position like this so when you testing on board like this it will not be accurate because it's affected by other components this is if you see from the behind one of the legs I pull up one of the legs pull up okay for testing a resistor I need the multimeter like this as you can see choosing the selector into the Omega symbol this is the symbol Omega or the next symbol is the capacitance is for a capacitor tester this is the symbol so we can choose ohm or we select or we can choose a capacitor tester this is the symbol nanofarad microfarad or anything else and we choose the ohm tester for resistance and you can now testing the legs each side you can test both ways the probe you can test like this or like this it is no problem for a resistor but for testing capacitors you need uh, to see the white strip this is symbol for the negative polarity as you can see this is the resistor with the color codes band if you are not familiar with the color code you can use or you can open the uh, four band resistor color guide from DigiKey the website digikey.com it's a online calculator color code for example here we have a brown black orange and gold so we said the first band is brown black and orange the tolerance is a gold color 
So it will be showing the resistor value 10,000 ohm or 10 kilo ohm. So if you measure this with the ohm selector, OL means open lines, I'm not doing connection yet. It's showing 9.8. It's close to 10 kilo ohm. So this resistor is still good. Unless it's showing a half value or no connection at all. Sometimes it's open lines. So that time you need to replace the resistor. 9.8. Yeah, this one's still good. 9.8 or close to 10k so I already uh, test all the resistors there is no problem with the value there is no declining value under 50% or open lines so that means all the resistors are still good now okay now we move to the capacitor test this is the capacitors the cylinders one the bad capacitor usually showing the physical damage at the top side. It will be bulging or fat cap here. But sometimes the damage capacitor also showing the half value or declining value from its uh, stating on the body. And usually I'm pulling out totally the capacitors. For example, here I have this 220 microfarad and 25 volt. So, um, pointing the my multimeter to capacitance testers. This is the symbol, and select the capacitance with the F uh, letters nanofarad or make microfarad. You can see white strip on the body is for negative the black probe. It's showing 193, 193.2 microfarad. So it's supposed to be 220 microfarad. 220. So this capacitor is already declining. Let's compare it with the new capacitors. I have this new capacitor, same, 25 volt, 220 microfarad. 85 degrees Celsius. This one is... Uh, this one is 105 degree plus Celsius. It can receive heat up to 105 degrees Celsius and this one only 85 degrees Celsius. But right now I don't have the stock for this one. But I'm gonna try it anyway because the I'm gonna replace this because the values is already declining. Let's check with the new one. So let's try and make a test with the capacitance position. Okay, it's showing 220 exactly. So this capacitor is still full capacitance, full value from the stating on the body and the multimeter. So yeah, I'm gonna try to replace this. As you can see, this is just the place. The black one is for negative like this okay I'm putting some flux paste okay now it's done I already soldered the new capacitors uh, let's try it anyway. 
Okay, after put back the main board, the power supply board here, and and plug all the cables. Now we're gonna test. Don't forget this. This is the rotary selector, backward. And we plug the power. Let's try it. Okay, the E3 error is now gone. The machine is working now. Okay, this machine is working again. It's not showing E3 error again after I replacing this capacitor. It's a two twenty microfarad, twenty five volts. So I replacing this with uh, this capacitors. I got it from my nearest electronic store. Uh, near my house but the problem is the original has a 105 degrees celsius uh, resistance see this one is only 85 degrees celsius but now i only got this capacitors uh, i recommend you to replace with the same uh, heat resistance 105 degrees celsius plus so it will be last longer than this one i think but for now i'm gonna try it anyway let's see how long it lasts <laughs> okay good luck uh, that's my solution for this uh, repairing e3 error for this electronic infrared cooker I hope you enjoy this video and uh, see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe or even sharing this video. It will support me in the future for making more video. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.